Brab Toy in the Island Excavating 1821. There's the butt eight for Mike Chris. And Mike Terry starts shotgun on the field. Here they come off turn number four. Another Saturday night of short track racing action is under green. Here are the airborne half mile. Josh Allen leads the field into turn number two and down the back stretch. Rick Hart and the Blue Deuce running second on the inside. Joe Warren stuck on the outside right now runs third. Dave Rabtoy, he's working on the outside of Mike Chris. Mike Terry looking to move up as well in the number 65. Josh Allen's the leader in the 10. Rick Hart runs in that second spot. Robert Gordon moving up to third in the H2O. Joe Warren coming back now on the outside. He'll stick his nose back to third on the outside of turn number three. But Gordon's got the preferred position on the inside line. He'll move through off of turn four and take third away. Josh Allen leading the way. Rick Hart trying to find a way around in the Blue Deuce. But Hart drifted up in turn number two, and Allen put some separation between himself and the Deuce. Josh Allen leading by two car lengths into turns three and four. Hart running second. Gordon is third. Here comes Mike Chris on the inside up to fourth. Mike Chris into the fourth spot. Joe Warren still hung out on the outside, sliding backwards as... Dave Raptoy in the number 21 will take the fifth spot away from Warren. And Raptoy trying to get the fourth. Mike Chris drifted high into turn number three, but now he's back down in front of Raptoy to hang on to that fourth spot. Halfway. Josh Allen in that number 10 has one win in 2008. He's got a car length advantage over Rick Hart in the deuce. Then it's four car lengths back to the H2O for Robert Gordon. Mike Chris in the butt eight taking to the outside of Gordon. Little loopy into turn number four. That rear end real loose on the Budweiser number eight. Mike Chris trying to work his way around Gordon for that third spot. Rick Hart and the Deuce closing up on the back bumper of Josh Allen out front as well. Good racing for the lead now as Hart takes a peek to the inside of Allen. Allen slams the door into turn number four. Five, four rather, he'll hang on the lead with two to go. Side-by-side side racing continues for the third spot as well. Look out up front. Hart and the Deuce almost took that lead away, but Allen was able to hang on. Now a slingshot move. Hart dives down on the inside. Allen again able to protect the inside. He's the leader as they race down to the white flag. One to go. Josh Allen holding off Rick Hart. Robert Gordon holding off Mike Chris for that third spot. Final time around in this first qualifier. Here comes the deuce back after him again at turn number three. Josh Allen protecting the inside line. Off turn number four, checkered flag is out. Josh Allen's gonna win it. Rick Hart is second. Robert Gordon third. Mike Chris fourth. Fifth it looked like Mike Terry. Then Dave Raptoy, Joe Warren, and Brian Daniels Hughes. and Donor in row number four. Eight cars set to run. Qualifier number two, versatile trailer sales renegades. Picking up the pace off turn number four. There's the green flag. Mark Karen's on the inside, Cody Kilburn's on the outside, and they're dead even off turn two. Three wide move, Lonnie Rivers jetting through down on the inside, trying to get up to the fourth spot. Brian Rogers in the middle working on the outside, Chris Frenier, he's also moving towards the front as Cody Kilburn leads the field off turn four from the outside. Little Joe Daniels working the extreme outside line right up against the front stretch wall off turn number four, and he's making it work. Daniels, who started in row number four, is all the way up to the fourth spot, working the rim on the outside, now running behind Chris Frenier. He'll duck down the inside and follow Lonnie Rivers. Ed Donor loops it up in turn number four. Writes the number one renegade and will stay under green. Cody Kilburn's the leader. Lonnie Rivers moving towards the front is second. Chris Frenier on the outside right now running in the third spot. Little Joe Daniels coming after him, though, down on the inside. Here comes Little Joe in the 46 to third. The only two drivers who have two wins in 2008 in this division running second and third in this qualifier. And Lonnie Rivers sees a hole down the inside. He's not going to be running second much longer. Rivers to the inside of Cody Kilburn going for the lead. Here comes Lonnie Rivers in the seven. He's your new leader. Halfway. Little Joe Daniels stapled to the back bumper of Lonnie Rivers. He's to the second spot. Cody Kilburn back to third. Chris Frenier running fourth. Last week's winner, Keith O'Neill, the zero, runs in the fifth spot. 
Little Joe says it's time to go. He goes to the outside of Lonnie Rivers looking for the lead off four. Lonnie Rivers in the seven. Joe Daniels in the 46. Rivers the top point man in the Renegade division. Daniels in that number 46, third in the point standings, 19 points behind Lonnie Rivers. And they're almost dead even in a turn number four with two laps to go. Drag race for the lead on the front stretch. At the stripe, it was Lonnie Rivers by about a half foot. Rivers on the inside, Daniels on the outside. Rivers surges back in front by half a car. Rivers on the inside, Daniels coming back after him in three and four. Here's where Daniels seemed to hook pretty well off turn four. Another drag race for the lead down to the stripe. White flag is out. That time Rivers had the lead by about two feet. They're almost even off two. Lonnie Rivers by three feet down the back stretch. Look out, Donors looped it again in front of the leaders. Here come the leaders into turn four. Donor gets out of the way. Little Joe tries to stay in it. Down the front stretch, checkered flag, Lonnie Rivers wins. Daniel second, Frenier third, O'Neill fourth, Kilburn fifth, sixth to Brian Rogers. Seventh, it'll be Mark Karen, and eighth to Ed Donor in the number one. The Warren Tire Lonnie number 29 from Peru, it is Nick Haywood. And shotgun on the field in the number 36 from West Jay-Z, it's Bob Dragoon. That's the field, eight strong, green flag. Look out, car into the infield at a turn number one. That's Don Brissett in the number 58. Brissett backs it down to the infield. A lot of dirt's been kicked up heading down towards number one. Field racing off the fourth turn and there's the yellow flag. Kenny Davies and now Lance Raptoy on the outside of row number one. They will set the pace. It's a slow one into turns three and four. And now as they head into turn number four, they'll pick up the pace coming down the front stretch and there's the green flag. John Bell in the 66, running on the inside of row two and then Randy Ledoux in the 47. Bell really shoots up the track off two. Keith Pelkey saw a gaping hole down on the inside. He's trying to move up for position. They're three wide, hang on to it, Randy Ledoux. John Bell shot up the track again, got a piece of Ledoux 47, but everybody made it. Out front, Lance Raptoy trying to take the lead from the outside. Kenny Davies making it tough on him. But Lance Raptoy completes the pass on the backstretch, lap number two. Finally takes that lead down on the inside of turns three and four. Lance Raptoy, second place point man, is your leader. Raptoy just three points out of the top spot. Had the point lead last week and then lost it to Lonnie Rivers. That point lead in this division has flip-flopped back and forth a couple times. There goes Keith Pelkey in the 24 as cars were on the binders in front of him. And Pelkey couldn't get on the binders fast enough. Made pretty good contact with a back bumper of Randy Ledoux's 47. That led to Keith losing control to 24 down in the infield. John Bell kicking up dust on the backstretch. He drifted up the track again off turn number two, and that's going to shoot him to the rear of the field. Halfway in this third qualifier, Lance Raptoy in the number 11 is having his way. Kenny Davies second by half a backstretch. Randy Ledoux running third in the 47. Nick Haywood up to the four spot in the number 29. And it's a good distance back to Don Brissett Jr. in the number 58. Here's Randy Ledoux looking to the outside of Kenny Davies for position number two. Well, Ledoux in the Adirondack Scrap Metals car has the second spot. And number 47's been pretty fast throughout 2008. Matter of time before he finds the winner's circle in his first checkered flag, he's up to the second spot. Lance Raptoy leading Randy Ledoux. Half the back stretch is the lead. Kenny Davies has fallen back to third. Davies, of course, has had pretty hard contact the last two weeks. They put a lot of hours into that number nine, getting it back together. White flag is out. Lance Raptoy second in points, looking for his first feature win of 2008 tonight. He's got a qualifier win here in qualifier number three. A convincing win for Lance Raptoy in the Benora 11. 
Second's gonna go to Randy Ledoux. Third to Kenny Davies. Fourth to Nick Haywood in the number 29. As the uh, checkered flag comes out and also red flag number with John Jim and Trone starts on the outside of row number two. Jason Durgan, the Border Patrol 17, starts fifth. Shotgun on the field as they come down to the green flag. Leon Gagno in the Riley Ford, Englefield Ford, number four. First qualifier under green, down a backstretch. Greg Rail leading him into turn number three. Richard to a little bumper tag there. It looked like he got a push from behind from Jason Durgan. That shot him up the track into Greg Atkins. And Tessur is going to limper back to the garage area. Uh, Richard Tessur has not had a lot of luck in 2008. And he has slowed a top turn number two. And he has stopped a top turn number two. Yellow flag. So the first yellow flag comes out. In that Lake Champlain roofing, U.S. Border Patrol number 17 modified. Here they come off turn number four. Green flag. Greg Rio leading them off turn number two. Shoots up the track a little bit. A hole down on the inside for Jason Durgan to try to exploit. He'll move through. Durgan to the point. Greg Rio holding second. Leon Gagno third. Durgan eighth in the point standings in that number 17. Here comes Leon Gagno. Gagno is the fourth place point man. He's up to second in modified number four. Craig Riel back to third. Now we have seen Jason Durgan run very fast when he gets out front. And that's where he is and he is putting some real estate between himself and Leon Gagno in that number four. Durgan is checking out. Gagno in the four, running comfortably in second. And it's half a backstretch to Craig Rail in the CO2. Greg Atkins in the one, running four. Jim Introne pulling up the rear halfway. Durgan, as we said, eighth in the point standings. One win in 2008, 92 points out of the top spot. Leon Gagno in the number four, fourth in the point standings, does not yet have a win. He finds himself 58 points behind the point leader, Patrick Dupree, in the number 24. Craig Rail in that CO2 modified, 14th in the point standings, running in the fourth spot in this first qualifier with two laps to go for Jason Durgan. At number 17, Modified had problems with the rear end last week. They made repairs, he raced in the feature event. He's flying tonight, white flag. Well, Jason Durgan got to the front in this first qualifier early. And then he checked out on the field. An easy win for Jason Durgan in the 17. Leon Gagno goes to second. Coming off four to third is Greg Atkins. Give fourth to Craig Rio. And fifth is going to be Jim Introne from Granville, New York in the number Any nine. track champion starts sixth in the Searmark Barn Grill 34 from Saranac Lake at George Foley. Shotgun on the field. The Crickets 22 for Mike Bruno. Green flag. Out front, Andy Haywood leads him off turn number two. Andy Kane is running in the second spot. Some fast cars coming from near the back of the back. George Foley working on the rim on the outside of the B3 of Aaron Barnaby. Here comes Foley. Mike Bruno takes to the outside as well. Mike Rio, look out, little bumper tag there. Rio seemed to shoot up the track into turn number two. Foley trying to work his way around Mike Reel in that number 02. Out front, it's Andy Haywood. Andy Kane running second. Chris K.A. is third. Mike Bruno, who has been a rocket in this division, mired at the back of the back. He's got nowhere to go. They're running too wide in front. He's trying to find a way through. Mike 
Nick Rio drifted high into one and two. He'll go to the back of the pack. As George Foley moved through, Mike Bruno moves through. But out front, it's still Andy Awood. Here comes Chris Kaye. Kaye in the 18, moves through to the inside of Andy Kane. Chris Kaye to the second spot. Kane is running third. George Foley in the 34, mired behind the B3 of Aaron Bartomey. And then it's Bruno in the 22, right behind Foley. Andy Haywood with a comfortable lead out front. Mike Riel's going back to the garage. George Foley moving to the inside of Aaron Bartomey. Trying to slide through down on the inside. Here comes Foley. Haywood, K.A. There goes Bartomey sliding up off turn number two. Bruno picks up a spot. He's to fifth. Andy Kay's running third. He's going to be feeling the heat of George Foley soon. Out front, Haywood, K.A. Kane still third. Bruno looking to the inside of George Foley for the fourth spot. They run wheel to wheel into turns three and four. Bruno smokes them into turn number four, takes the spot away to fourth. Andy Kane hanging on to that third position. Got it down on the inside. Mike Bruno looking outside into turn number three. Two laps to go for leader Andy Haywood. Andy Awood by two car lengths over Chris Kaye. And a big gap back to Andy Kane in the 27. Mike Bruno again looking to the outside. Now ducks back down behind Kane as the white flag is out for Andy Haywood. Bruno going after Kane now on the outside and it turns one and two. George Foley looking to move back to the inside of Bruno. Final lap. Can Bruno get to a top three finish? Out front, Haywood trying to hold off Chris K.A. and he will. Haywood wins, K.A. is second, Kane third, Bruno fourth, Foley fifth, and Aaron Barnaby ends up sixth. Four. And the, the pistol, front. Patrick Dupree, he's our points leader coming into tonight. Shotgun on the field, first time out on the speedway in 2008. A sample lumber number five for Moores, New York's Jim McComb. That's the field, green flag. From the outside of row number one, it's going to be Francis McNeil in the number six taking the lead down the backstretch. Mark Lamberton working on the outside. Also moving on the outside, the pistol, Patrick Dupree. Martin Wad is going to go there to try to get around Spencer Rushlaw. Out front, it's the six for Francis McNeil. Second, Mark Lamberton. Third, the pistol, Patrick Dupree. As the Outback Steakhouse Boomerang Vodka Modifieds run in the second and third spots. McNeil, the leader, shooting up the track off two. Opening up room on the inside for Mark Lamberton. Patrick Dupree out of a rocket down to the inside of McNeil as well. He'll take second. McNeil back to third. Spencer Rushlaw right now running in the fourth spot. Fifth is the double nickel for Matt Woodruff. Sixth is Martin Roy. Remember Roy last week made heavy contact on the front stretch, ended up in the wall. They made repair to the right front, but he's mired back in sixth. Mark Lamberton leading his teammate, Pistol Patrick Dupree, by about six lengths as they race down the front stretch and they're halfway. Francis McNeil running comfortably in third. The best action on the speedway is for the fourth spot. Spencer Rushlaw has it. Matt Woodruff and Martin Roy want it. Woodruff is running fifth. Roy is stuck in sixth. They're going at it side by side, wheel to wheel for the fifth spot. Spencer Rushlaw continues to hang in the fourth spot. Woodruff in the 55 has a slight advantage over Martin Roy, but now Roy going on the outside, working the rim in the 90. Here comes Martin Roy after the fourth spot. Rushlaw down on the inside. Martin Roy on the outside, driving to position number four. Two laps to go for Mark Lamberton. Now Matt Woodruff trying to work around Spencer Rushlaw as well. Woodruff moving 
Coming around Rushlaw for position number five as the white flag is on the field. Mark Lamberton cruising out front. The pistol, Patrick Dupree, running comfortably in second as Mark Lamberton will win qualifier number three. Patrick Dupree is second. Third is going to go to Francis McNeil in the sixth. Fourth to Martin Ottawa in the 90. Fifth to Matt Woodruff. Sixth to Spencer Rushlaw. Seventh. We'll go to Jim McComb in the number five modified. Number two. Inside row number three, the agency insurance number 19 for Jamie Begor. He'll start fifth. On the outside of Begor in row number three as we get the green flag. It's the points leader, Buck O'Branham, in the Northern Sanitation number 20. And shotgun on the field is the defending track champion, Jason Bonnet, in the DeSorcy Emergency Products number 79. They're three wide, racing for the fourth spot. Begor on the inside has it, moving up to get third away from Larry Underwood. Robin Wood, the leader. Robin Wood driving the Gunny Inca Bingo, Renterec number 61 to the point, taking Jamie Begor with him. Begor with the agency insurance number 19, second. Third is Larry Underwood in the number 73. Sherry Minier stuck on the outside, going backwards. Jason Bonnet, the defending track champ, up to the fourth spot in the number 79. Sherry Minier in the number three, back to fifth, but not for long. Jim Bushy's got the preferred groove down on the inside. Oh no, Bushy's loose. That might allow Minier to hang on to that spot. Uh, he gets the ship righted. And he's now got the better position. He'll take fifth away from Minier. Buck O'Brien's gonna go with Bushy. And Minier's going to the back of the pack. She's back to seventh. Out front, Robin Wood leading by three car lengths over Jamie Begor. Larry Underwood running a higher line into one and two, and that's gonna cost him. Jason Bonnet is there on the inside, and Jason Bonnet's gonna take that third spot away from Larry Underwood. Bonnet trying to finish that pass. Buck O'Branham trying to catch up and get to the inside of Underwood as well. Underwood might be wise to just back out a little bit and fall down to the inside, but now he can't do it. Branham was able to get to the inside, fill the hole, and take fourth. Underwood back to fifth. And Jim Bushy trying to move up, but I think Underwood's going to be able to slide it down in front of Bushy and hang on to fifth. So Robin Wood in the 61 is showing the way. He's got a comfortable, now five car length advantage over Jamie Begor. Begor's not getting pushed as well. He's comfortable in the second spot. He's got six or seven car lengths over Jason Bonnet, who is running third in the 79. Bonnet, though, running in that third spot. He's got the point leader in Buck O'Branham running right behind him. And Branham with a peek to the inside. Bonnet running a higher line now, getting it down into turns three and four. And Branham holding into that fourth spot. Two to go. Two laps remain in this first qualifier for the JNS Steel Sportsman. Branham with 326 points coming into tonight. He's got an 18 point lead over last week's winner, Sean Duquette. White flag on the field. And Robin Wood, strong car in this qualifier. A convincing win for the sportsman veteran. Here comes Robin Wood to the checkered flag. Nice job for that number 61 team. He wins it. Jamie Vigor second. Jason Bonnet third. Buck O'Branham fourth. Fifth to Larry Underwood. Jimmy Bushy sixth. Sherry Minier brings the three home in the seventh. And on the outside, last week's winner, Sean Duquette in the number 18. He will start sixth. Shotgun on the field, driving the number 82 tonight. Bob Wells is in the number 82. And that's the field for qualifier at number two. Here they come off turn number four to the green flag. Toby Ebersole not driving the 82 tonight. There was a death, unfortunately, in Toby's family. And as per airborne rules, you can have a substitute driver one week of the season step in, and Bob will have a chance to accumulate points for Toby Ebersole. Rick Frenier leading him through lap number one and off turn number two. A little bit of a scramble near the front. Howard Stoner drifting up the track right in front of Tyler Terry, and Tyler Terry's gonna take it three wide into three and four. Richie Turner's in that second spot, but 
Tyler Terry is right up to the wall. Last week's winner, Sean Duquette to third. Tyler Terry running fourth. But Chris Reeves on the inside. There goes Stoner in the 57. Stoner, loose off turn number two, went around. He's got it rolling again and will stay under green. Rick Frenier leading Richie Turner by three car lengths off turn number two. Then it's four car lengths back to last week's winner, Sean Duquette in the 18. Tyler Terry in the 44, runs for it. Chris Reeves right now running in the fifth position, and it's quite a ways back to Bob Wells in the 82. Rick Frenier, the lead is starting to shrink. Richie Turner closing the distance to the leader. And Tyler Terry looking to the outside of Sean Duquette for third as we're halfway in this qualifier. Richie Turner now just a half car length off the back bumper of Rick Frenier in that 77. Frenier down to the inside at three and four. Here's where Turner closes the gap. Looked like there was a bobble though that time. Car a little loose for Richie. As he's running still a half car length off the lead. Sean Duquette still running third. He's a good eight car lengths behind Turner. Tyler Terry fourth running just a half car length off the back bumper of Duquette. Still out front, it's slick Rick Frenier in the 77. Chris Reeves, the double zero, pulls to the top of the track. Looks like he is headed back to the garage area. Remember, Chris had problems last week as well in a 100 lap feature event. He ended up parked atop turn number three. Two laps to go for Rick Frenier. Tyler Terry. Looking down to the inside of Sean Duquette. Terry with a good move. He's able to take third away from Duquette. Duquette seemed to drift up the track off turn number four. Terry's car was able to stick off the four turn down to the inside. He took the third spot away. White flag on the field. Rick Frenier the leader. Richie Turner running second now. Two car lengths off the back bumper of Frenier. Tyler Terry third. Impressive for Terry to work his way around Sean Duquette. We all saw last week how fast that 18 was. Checkered flag for Rick Frenier. Fist in the air for Frenier. He gets it done. Second to Turner. Third to Terry. Fourth to Duquette. And fifth will go to Bob Wells in Toby Everson. Express Eversol. C. Roberts and Sons Bill calling number 29 from Champlain. It is Ben Huff. Shotgun on the field in the direct subs number four from Plattsburgh. It's Rico Hernandez. Seven cars. That's the field. Here they come. Green flag. From the outsider on number one, Mike Wells trying to take the lead from Mike Shagnon, and he will. Mike Wells leads him down the backstretch. Shagnon's running second. Big Orange Ridge Watson running in that third spot. Outside in the fourth position right now, Brian Chris in the Labatt Blue 98. Wells the leader. Shagnon is second. Watson is third. Brian Chris tiptoeing through turn number two. That car turned sideways on him and Skip Liberty on the inside had four, but now Chris comes right back after it on the outside. He put the nose back there for four. At the stripe, Skip Liberty had the fourth spot again, but Brian Chris put up a pretty good fight. Ben Huff's got a good view of the battle for fourth. Now Rich Watson in the 0-9, sticking his nose down to the inside of the 86 of Mike Shagnon. Shagnon closed that door in a turn number four, and he'll hang on to second for now. Brian Chris still working on that outside line in the number 98. Skip Liberty in the 59. Back to fourth. Brian Chris starting to slide a little bit. Now again coming back after fourth into turns three and four. Ben Huff still trying to plug his way through down on the inside. Get pitched. And Ben Huff will get that fifth spot off turn number two. But here's where Brian usually fights back pretty strong. He's been able to drive it hard into three and four. As he does again, trying to come back after the fifth position. Shagnon way up the track off two. Richie Watson in the 0-9 wasn't able to get his car there. Shagnon shot way up the track off the four turn. And Watson 0-9 seemed to drift right up with him. Watson was, wasn't able to get there down on the inside. Skip Liberty still running in the fourth spot. Brian Chris still fighting on the outside for fifth. 
Ben Huff in the 29. Brian Chris the 98. Good battle for position number five, and I think the battle is just about ended as Chris was sideways again off turn two. Oh, well, Ben Huff wants to go. Ben Huff's going to try the outside on the 29. Huff going after Skip Liberty. Mike Shagman continues to hang on to second and has stacked things up behind him. Shagman's been able to hold his line for the most part and hang on to that second spot. Mike Wells is making it ugly out front. He's way ahead. Two laps to go for Wells. Shagnon running second. Rich Watson is third. Four skip Liberty in the 59. And the Labatt Blue 98 for Brian Chris. As Ben Huff, his experiment on the outside didn't work too well. He's gone backwards. A white flag out for Mike Wells. Second spot, still Mike Shagnon in the 86. Rich Watson in the 09, still running third. Skip Liberty to 59. Oh, there goes Shagnon. Shagnon loops it off turn number two. Your winner is coming off the fourth turn. Checker flag is out for him. Mike Wells wins it. Rich Watson, the big orange 09, is going to end up in the second spot. Here comes Watson for second. Third, it's going to be Skip Liberty. Brian Chris fourth. Ben Huff fifth. Sixth will be Rico Hernandez. And Mike Shagnon will bring the 86 home in the seventh spot. Justin Donor outside Dustin Duval in the 12th. Final row, it's the five of Bobby LeVere and the 57 of Butch Lemire. That's your field, ready to go. Qualifier number one for the Warriors is under green. Good jump on the inside for Kenny St. Germain as he'll lead him up the back stretch the first time. Brusso runs in that number two spot. He looks the way through on the inside. Terry Bishaw right there in the 36 as well. Contact from the 26 into Bishaw and he goes around. Everybody manages to scramble through with the series 36. It has come to a halt in turn number three. That'll bring out the caution flag. And this first qualifier oh, for the Warriors. He was still able to go fishing the next morning. <laughs> that was what he said in the interview when we talked to him for uh, Motorsports Magazine. Were you a little sore the next day? No, not at all, Kenny said. We went fishing. I guess that's good. Slow pace for the Warriors as they come off turn four. We're going to go green flag racing uh, outside Bobby LaVare's number five. Ten Warriors ready for a restart. Green is out. And now Andrew Bordeaux on the outside in the 08 will try to make a move on St. Germain. But that opens up the inside line, and it's just zooming by on the inside goes the 12. Duval is your new leader, and he's going to bring C.J. LeVere right with him. LeVere will take the number two spot. St. Germain trying to get that number 40 back down to the bottom of the racetrack, but that car still does not want to handle well in the corners. Justin Doner now takes third. St. Germain back to fourth. Jason Chris runs fifth. Butch Lemire is sixth. Halfway. Again, the 40 with some problems in turn two. And that inside line, both Lemire's 57 and Lemire's number five go right on by. Two to go this time by for Dustin Duval. CJ LeVere closing in in that number four. He had it cut down to a car length and a half as the four gaining ground in the corners. White flag, one to go for Duval in the 12. LeVere now looks to the outside. Throws the four back down to the bottom of the racetrack. Contact to the back bumper of the 12. Nice job by Duval to hold on to it. LeVere now looks to the outside. He pulls right alongside Dustin Duval. Here they come. Down the stretch. Checkered flag is out. Duval will win it. LeVere second. Donor gets third. Butch LeVere fourth. And Jason Chris will round out the top five. He's lined up and ready to go. Second qualifier. Off turn four, the green is out.
Good jump on the outside for Jimmy Collins in the 0-2. He's going to grab the lead as they head up the backstretch. Prada trying to hang tough on the inside of the 72. He comes right back, but Collins is going to have the lead as they come off turn four. Prada running into that number two spot. Demore is third. Billy Twaits has quickly worked his way into the number four spot in the 69. Santillo is fifth. Here comes Doder on the move. He's sixth. He's now fifth as three cars go by the 72. Caution flag is out as we've got one car. Here's the five. Bombard and Bradley, the 61 and 77, and Frederick Shotgun as the 51 is headed back to the garage area. Here they come off four. We are back to green. Another good jump on the inside by Jimmy Collins in the 0-2. He's going to grab the lead. He's going to bring Dave Demore right with him. That inside line moving up. Peretta is going to get caught three wide on the outside. Twain strips a little bit high as well. And Peretta is sideways. Nice job holding on to it. And will stay green. The 69 of Twaits headed back to the garage area. Meanwhile, three-car battle up front as quickly Rick Doner has moved up on the outside right alongside the 0-2 of Collins, and he looks him in the eye and goes right on by. Rick Doner, your new leader of the 95, as Collins back to second. Not for long. Here comes Dave Demore on the inside. And Demore will take the number two spot. Outside, Santillo looks to move up. Two to go, this time by for Rick Doner. Collins drifting high, he takes the 86 with him. And here comes Santillo to second. Collins back to third. Bombard is now fourth. Demore back to fifth. White flag this time by Donor, one to go. Tommy Santillo trying to close the gap in the 88. Jimmy Collins is third. Into turn three the final time. Now through four, off turn four. Checkered flag is out. No photo finish this time. Rick Donor wins it all. Tom Santillo is second. Jimmy Collins gets the number three spot, followed by the 86 of DeMar. Bomber qualifier, number one lined up, ready to go. The front row shows the 19 of Brandon Allen and the 08 of Alex the Plant. They'll pick it up off turn four. Green flag is out. Nice jump on the outside of the plant. will lead him up the back stretch. Kurt Seymour's on the move in the 357. He moves into second as Randy Guerin brings the 84 to the number three spot. Now Guerin sideways in a turn three. Everybody managed to scramble by the 84 car. Guerin trying to refire over in turn three as the leaders start to move into turn three. We'll have a caution. April Bordeaux in the 23. One down, five to go. First qualifier for the Bombers. Back to the green. Another good start on the inside for Alex the Plant. He'll lead him up the back stretch. Quickly, though, the 357 of Kurt Seymour is closing in. The plant, 08, has the inside line. Seymour getting it done on the outside groove. He's going to stick his nose in front. He'll lead lap number two. Seymour had him at the stripe. The plant battles right back on the inside in the 08. Now with a little bit more power, Seymour grabs the lead on the backstretch. Riel in the 0-2 moves right alongside the 0-8. They're side by side for that number two spot. Halfway. Gilligan has quickly moved up into fourth. He is right out of the back bumper of the LaPlante 0 8. Now Alice goes high and Martin will take second. 
Josh Laporte will come through on the inside. He'll take the number three spot. The plan is back to fourth. Turn to go. And now Martin will try and run down Kurt Seymour in that 357. Martin with four feature wins to his credit in 2008. White flag will be out this time by Seymour trying to hold on to the 357. They're even at the strike. Side by side up the back stretch the final time. Kurt Seymour on the inside. Randy Martin outside in the 77. He's got a nose in front. Seymour's got the inside. Can he come back on the inside? Down the stretch to the checkered. Martin wins it. Seymour second. Laporte finishes third. Jason Blondo fourth. And Alex LaPlante will round out the top five. Most in the 06. Shotgun on the field goes to Josh Blake in the 25. Nine more bombers ready to go at it. Six laps. Second qualifier is under green. Good start for Gadway in the 63. He'll lead him up the back stretch as the inside line moving up quick. Three wide action into turn three. Richner's caught in the middle of the 21, but they come cleanly out of turn four. Chad Collins getting together with the 66 of Steve Miller. Both those two cars trip high, and just about everybody else go right on by. Gadway has opened up distance on the 24 of Wade Whitney. Squarehead Jr. in that number three spot in the 06. Great babe. Runs in the fourth spot in the 21. Josh Terry trying to challenge him on the outside of the 43. Mike Whalen right there in the 11 as well. Meanwhile, the leader will be this way halfway. Whitney trying to run him down in the 24 as the black flag comes out on Collins 0-2. Good gap back to the number 0-6. The Provost car running comfortably in the number three spot. The battle now is for that fourth spot between the Grape Ape and Josh Terry. Grape Ape's got fourth. Terry's got fifth. And your leader, Timmy Gadway, in the 63 is all alone. White flag this time by for Gadway. Terry still looking for a way by Richner in the 21. Has yet to find it. Checkered flag will be out this time by Gadway coming off turn four. Checkered flag to Timmy Gadway. Second, Wade Whitney. Third will go to Chad Provost. Great Ape gets fourth. And Josh Terry rounds out the top five. Two, Josh LeClaire in the seven. Speedy Brissett outside in the zero three. Eli B. Shaw, the 93, 34 of Josh LaVarnway, 14 of Mike Brissett, 75 of Cody Myers, shotgun goes to the 8 of Paul Baker. Good start for Malcolm Woodward, he grabs the lead in that 46 car, speedy is sideways, look out. Brissette spins the 03. That'll bring us under caution. Here they come. Off turn four. Green flag is out. Another good quick start from Malcolm Woodward, and he again grabs the lead before they hit turn two. Woodward is your leader. Bert Drake runs second. Eli Bishaw quickly on the move in the 93. He looks outside. As Drake holds that inside line, he'll hold on to that number two spot. B. Shaw runs third. Josh LeClaire into that number four spot. Josh LeVarnway is fifth. Cody Myers and Mike Brissett. 
As now Drake has some problems at that 0-5. He finally gets back to the bottom of the racetrack, but not before Bishaw gets by into that number two spot in the 93. Josh LeClaire taking a look at the outside of Burt Drake in that 0-5, but Burt's having some handling problems in turn two. I would not want to be on the outside of that 0-5 coming off one. Cody Myers in the 75 now looking inside the 05, and Cody will take the number three spot. Three wide down the front stretch. LaVarnley on the inside. The meat of the sandwich is the Claire in the seven. Much better job that time getting through turn two by Burt Drake in the 05. Bishaw has closed the gap a bit on Malcolm Woodward. Two to go. The 46 of Malcolm Woodward is your leader. That, that lead has diminished, but now Bishaw kicks the dirt up on the back stretch, and Woodward opens up again. Good gap back to Cody Myers, who is solidly into that number three spot with one to go. The Morris New York driver of number 46, Malcolm Woodward, leading him off turn four. Weasel Bruno showing the checkers. Woodward is your winner. Bishaw will get second. Myers third, fourth spot. We'll go to the 34 of LaVarnway, and Josh LeClaire rounds out your top five in this final qualifier for the Monster Bomb. They'll slow the pace into three and four. Allen and Dragoon. 40 laps the distance for the Renegades tonight. The man's got the green flag in the air. We're racing. Allen leads him. Dragoon shoots way up the track off turn number two. He's into the dirt down the back stretch. He's going from second to dead last just about in one lap. Out front it's Josh Allen and Lance Raptoy going with him. moments here the back of the pack. Little Joe with a nice save off turn number four. Strong racing for that third spot. Kenny Davies working on the outside. Cody Kilburn in the 32 on the inside as they race for the third position. Josh Allen the leader. Lance Raptoy running second. Then it's six car links back to Kenny Davies. Brian Rogers getting hung out to dry on the outside, but he's fighting back to the outside of Chris Frenier. They're racing for position number seven. Rogers trying to maintain speed to get right out to the wall, but now he is losing the fight on the outside and he is losing spots big time. Out front, Josh Allen, Lance Raptoy, those cars running, one, two, then a good gap back to Kenny Davies, who's running third. Rick Hart in the news is fourth. Fifth is Cody Kilburn in the 32. Running in the sixth spot, Lonnie Rivers. Seventh is Chris Frenier. Eighth is Dave Raptoy. Here comes Rivers making a move. Lonnie Rivers going for the fifth spot to the inside of Cody Kilburn. He'll take fifth off turn number four. Josh Allen, Lance Raptoy still running 1-2. Good racing for spot 6, 7, 8. Cody Coburn still losing spots. Still stuck on the outside. Seventh now, Dave Raptoy in the number 21. Kilburn running eighth. Stuck on the outside. Mike Chris trying to get to him on the inside. Mike Chris is there. He'll take that spot away. Little Joe Daniels. He's going to follow through. Kilburn, by the time it's all said and done, might be kicked out of the top 10. Kilburn right now is 10th on the outside, but Randall Ledoux trying to attach to the back bumper of Joe Daniels. Now Kilburn gets the car down in the 10th spot. Josh Allen has one win in 2008. He's got a one car length advantage over Lance Raptoy. 40 laps the distance tonight for the versatile trailer sales renegade division.
Lance Raptoy looking down on the inside of Josh Allen in a turn three and four. Allen runs a higher line into the third down, cuts her down to the inside, and maintains the top spot. He'll do the same thing in a one and two. Takes it from the middle of the track, down to the inside, into the turns, and that line's been working for him. Here comes the deuce. Rick Hart charging into the third spot. The deuce of Rick Hart on the move into the top three. Moving by the inside of Kenny Davies, he's up to third. Still Josh Allen out front. Lance Raptoy just a couple of feet off the back bumper. Then it's a good distance back to Rick Hart who is closing in on the leaders. Slower car, Mark Karen as the leaders approach him. Josh Allen will go around Mark Karen in that number five. Lance Raptoy again right onto the back bumper. Raptoy will move past Karen as well. Top two cars have been running nose to tail for the better part of the first 12 laps. Let's set the field with 12 laps complete. They're three wide working around the five of Mark Karen. Lonnie Rivers trying to take a spot away from Kenny Davies in the nine. Rivers to the inside is up to fourth. Lance Raptoy down to the inside of Josh Allen. We got a pass for the lead out front. Lance Raptoy is the new leader. The Benor number 11 for Lance Raptoy has the lead. Down the back stretch, he pulls away from Josh Allen. Raptoy, second place in points. Three points out of the top spot, he's the leader. Josh Allen is now second. Third is Rick Hart in the noose. Points leader, number seven, Lonnie Rivers is running fourth. Kenny Davies is fifth. Chris Frenier is sixth. Seventh is Little Joe. Eighth is Dave Raptoy. Ninth is Randy Ledoux. Tenth is Mike Chris. Eleventh is Nick Haywood. Twelfth is Keith Pelkey. Thirteenth is Joe Warren. Fourteenth, Keith O'Neill. Fifteenth is Cody Kilburn. Sixteenth is Ed Donor. Seventeenth is Brian Rogers. Out front, Lance Raptoy is running away from Josh Allen. Good racing in the top 10, it's for the fifth spot. Kenny Davies and Little Joe running door to door for the fifth position. Davies on the inside, Daniels on the outside of the number 46. Really working it hot at a turn four. Daniel sideways off the fourth turn, taking fifth. Lance Raptoy leading. Josh Allen second. The deuce of Rick Hart is running down Allen. Fourth is Lonnie Rivers. Fifth, the 46, Little Joe Daniels. Sixth now, Randy Ledoux. Seventh, Kenny Davies. Eight, they're running side by side. Dave Raptoy in the 21, Chris Frenier in the 93. Give the eight spot to Dave Raptoy. Frenier back to ninth. Lance Raptoy trying to find a way around the 36. Had his hand right out the window. Where am I supposed to go with this guy? Dragoon running in the middle of the track. Raptoy was not happy with him. Finally is able to work his way by on the inside. Robert Gordon in the H2O, normally a strong runner. He's off the pace, running towards the back of the pack. He's the next car that'll go a lap down. Lance Raptoy cruising out front, and now other cars will try to get around Bob Dragoon's number 36. Gordon's gonna hang it out of the outside. Lance Raptoy in the 11 will drive underneath. Now Josh Allen to the inside of Bob Dragoon. Allen hanging on to the second spot. Raptoy will have to look to the outside of Don Brissett as he skillfully works through the lap cars. The lead for Lance Raptoy is half the backstretch. Rick Hart in the deuce is running third, continues to close the gap. 
on Allen. Twenty-three laps complete. On a normal night, Lance Raptoy would be well on his way to a victory, but he's got 15 additional laps to worry about tonight with the extra distance. Lance Raptoy leading Josh Allen. Now it's almost a full backstretch. Allen second. The Deuce third. Rivers fourth. Little Joe fifth. Randy Ledoux sixth. Seventh is Mike Chris. Eighth is Dave Raptoy. Ninth is Nick Haywood. Tenth is Kenny Davies on the inside. Eleventh on the outside. It is Chris Frenier. Keith Pelkey is 12th. Joe Warren, 13th. 14th is Ed Donor. Last week's winner, Keith O'Neill, is 15th. 16th is Cody Kilburn. 16 cars are on the lead lap. A Lance Raptoy running into turn number three. Continues to pick him up and put him down. We have not had one yellow flag to this point. And Lance Raptoy does not want one. Kenny Davies off the pace, up atop turn number two. Davies gets back out onto the speedway, but he's now about to go a lap down. They'll run side by side right in front of the leader. Davies is trying to stay now on the lead lap in the number nine. He'll go way to the outside, and now there are 15 cars on the lead lap. Some real hot and heavy traffic racing for second. Josh Allen, Rick Hart, Little Joe has moved around Lonnie Rivers. Three wide around Don Brissett. Lonnie Rivers sideways up at turn number four. He loops it. Rivers tries to keep her rolling. We get a yellow. Right, ready for a restart. Lance Raptoy in the 11, Josh Allen in the 10, picking up the pace down the front stretch, green flag. Raptoy leads him off turn number two. The Deuce can now see the leader, he's to second. Randy Ledoux in that 47. He's trying to take third away from Josh Allen. We got 10 laps to go in this one. Lance Raptoy leading by three car lengths. Rick Hart in the deuce is running second. Randy Ledoux in the 47 is third. Little Joe runs fourth. Mike Chris in the top five. The Bud eight has raced to the fifth spot. Raptoy, Hart. Ledoux, Ledoux to the outside of the deuce, racing for the second. There goes the deuce, lost the right front tire. Hart goes flying up top turn number four. Ledoux in the 47, no place to go. The tire goes racing over the Set barrier. Set the pace. This should be a good dash towards the checkered flag. 31 complete. Here comes the field off turn number four. Down the front stretch, green flag. Even into turn number two. Lance Raptoy drifting up the track down the back stretch. Little Joe is with him on the outside. Daniels puts the nose in front into turn number three. Joe Daniels will try to complete the pass into turn number four. Here comes Joe Daniels right up to the wall. He's the leader. Now Mike Chris. Mike Chris is looking for racing room. Lance Raptoy has a problem. Problems on the number 11. He's taking a right-hand turn back towards the garage. He's now parked the top turn number two. Problems for Lance Raptoy. Daniel's the leader. Mike Christ is second. Nick Haywood is running third. Be speculation, but it might have been a tire going down on Raptoy in that number 11. Out front, it's now Little Joe Show. Second is Mike Chris. Third is Nick Haywood. Fourth is Josh Allen. Fifth is Chris Frenier. Sixth, Dave Raptoy. 
seventh, Lonnie Rivers. Rivers trying to open the door to the inside of Dave Raptoy. He's muscling his way through on the inside up to the sixth spot. Dave Raptoy back to seventh. Keith Pelkey to position number eight in the 24. Joe Warren, ninth. And Ed Donor, I believe, running in the top 10. Keith O'Neill just outside the top 10. Little Joe Daniels out front and running with a big lead over Mike Chris and the Budweiser number eight. Daniels looking for win number three of 2008. Third place in the points. 19 out of the top spot. The point leader right now is running in position number six. That's Lonnie Rivers. And Rivers might be losing a spot now to Dave Raptoy. Raptoy to the inside of Lonnie Rivers. Two laps to go for Little Joe. Rivers fighting back to the outside. Now here comes Dave Raptoy back on the inside. Real good battle going on for position number six, just outside the top five. White flag for Little Joe. Joe Daniels taking advantage of a couple of yellow flags, a mishap in front of him, and here he comes. He's the winner of the Mayor's Cup Special, Joe Daniels. Nick Haywood on the inside, second. Third, Mike Chris. Fourth, Josh Allen. Fifth, Chris Frenier. Lonnie Rivers, sixth. Seventh, Dave Raptoy. Eighth, Keith Pelkey. Joe Warren, Megan at ninth. And tenth, I believe, Ed Donor in the number one. Joe Daniels in the 46. Joe Daniels out of his car. Everybody have a nice round of applause. Third win of 2008 for Joe Daniels. Come on over, Joe. Congratulations. Couple of late race yellow flags there that helped you get closer to the front. And then a big mishap that happened right in front of you. What did you see happening there? And it uh, certainly helped you get right to the door of Lance Raptoy. Well, the, there was an opening and I, uh, I stuck my nose in it and we got banged around a little bit, but it, it, it paid off. It worked out. And, uh, we're just lucky to be here. Well, win number three. What differences did the drivers have to deal with with the extra distance? 15 added laps, of course. 40 laps the to total tonight. Uh, you know what? You try to save the car as much as you can, you know, at the beginning and try to save all you got for the end. There was a lot of hard racing, especially those first 25 laps. A lot of green flag racing. For spots five through ten, you were in the middle of that. Talk about some of that hard racing side by side early on. Oh, you, you know what? Everybody's worked so hard, and uh, it's it's real fortunate. And uh, those guys all drove their heart out. You can't take it away from any of them. Congratulations! You've got a great season going. This is going to help with the points as well. Win number three for you. Thanks, Joe Daniels. Everybody, give a nice round of applause. Sir, a scratch. And the anti-shuttage number 49. Here comes the field into turn number four. Down the front stretch on the hammer. Green flag. They mix it up off turn number two. Down the back stretch. Mark Lamberton caught a wheel of Francis McNeil. They're three wide down the back stretch. Durgan diving down the inside of Chris K.A. Three wide now to turn number four. McNeil leading in that seventh spot. Mark Lamberton down the outside of Francis McNeil. Jason Durgan, the 17, diving down to the inside. Look out, we got a spinner. Matt Woodruff does a 360. Keeps rolling down the back stretch. We stay under green. Out front, it's Andy Haywood in the 26. Mike Bruno to the inside of Chris Kaye. Bruno trying to make up some ground. The pistol, Patrick Dupree, got a couple of spots on him on the outside. Mark Lamberton also running on the outside at 24L. Andy Haywood leading his teammate, Andy Kane. It's the Andy and Andy show out front. 
Martin Roy on the 90, running in the third spot, Mark Lamberton up to fourth, three wide running for seven. Almost a dangerous situation on a front stretch. Greg Atkins, Jason Durgan had some contact. Durgan now to the outside of Craig Rail. Pistol Patrick Dupree running right behind. There was contact there as well. Mike Bruno nosing underneath Greg Atkins. We got a good battle all up towards the front for third. Martin Juan and Mark Lamberton are going after it. Lamberton dives down to the inside in front of Martin Roy. Mark Lamberton sits third. Roy is running fourth. Andy Kane second. Lamberton closing quickly on the leaders out front. Andy Haywood in the 26. Lamberton running the left front tire right off the right rear of Andy Kane. Moves around down the back stretch. Mark Lamberton on the move is up to second. Andy Kane running third. Martin Roy is fourth. Fifth right now, Jason Durgan. Sixth is Patrick Dupree, not for long. Here comes Roy to the inside. Andy Kane boxed around. Patrick Dupree, he's boxed behind Kane. Mark Lamberton to the inside of Andy Haywood. Lamberton going for the lead off turn number two. New leader. Mark Lamberton leads it. Andy Haywood is second. Martin Roy is third. Fourth is Jason Durgan. Fifth is Pat Dupree. Mike Bruno is running sixth. Seventh, Andy Kane. Eighth, Greg Rio. Ninth, Greg Atkins. Leon Gagno, tenth. Everybody's trying to chase down Mark Lamberton. Lamberton has a half backstretch lead over Andy Haywood in the 26. Jim Trone is off the pace. The nine is headed to the pits. Will he make it? Lamberton goes around Jim McComb in the number five modified. In Trone limping back to the garage, he's made the hill. find a way around Martin, the 826 of Andy Haywood. Now Patrick Dupree running three wide on the outside. Patrick Dupree taking it right up to the wall around Jason Durgan. Andy Haywood in the 26, making it very difficult for Juan to get around. Martin Juan going back on the outside of Haywood. Haywood holding him at bay. Tight racing for spots two, three, four, five, six. Mark Lamberton is just rolling out front. It's a straightaway lead for Lamberton. Mike Bruno trying to take a spot away from Patrick Dupree. Dupree working on a rim, trying to get around Jason Durgan in the 17. Now Martin Roy wheel to wheel with Haywood in the 26. Haywood hanging on. Mike Bruno and Patrick Dupree, two of the fastest modifieds on the half mile, going wheel to wheel, racing for the sixth position, make it fifth. Haywood hanging on to second. Jason Durgan now third. Durgan to the inside of Haywood. Durgan made contact with Haywood. Other cars had to back out of it. Durgan trying to find his way around Andy Haywood. Ten laps to go for Mark Lamberton. Lamberton is killing it out front. Haywood, Durgan in line. Pistol Patrick Dupree. Lamberton's got a half a track lead over Handy Haywood. Durgan looking high. Mike Bruno pulling in line behind him. Martin Waugh still there as well. And the 
is Lamberton, Haywood, Durgan, Bruno, Roy. Drag race for third. Bruno trying to get through on the inside. Durgan on the outside. Bruno on the inside. Muscles his way through. Patrick Dupree moving up as well. Here comes Dupree in the 24. just hooked up. This was a brand new car that Wes kind of designed and it took us a couple weeks to get it figured out but it really is going to work good. Uh, you managed to work your way to the front pretty quickly getting away some, uh, getting around rather some tough cars to pass and then just pulled away as they were really duking it out for position behind you but this is, uh, it's taken you a while to get this checkered flag. It's got to be pretty gratifying. I know you went through some, through some struggles last year with your own modified but you've got some great equipment here and obviously very fast. Talk about how gratifying this is for you. Oh, it's pretty awesome. I really want to thank Wes for giving us the opportunity to do it. Uh, my family. <laughs> My little girl. <laughs> well, obviously, Mark, emotional, well-deserved. Congratulations, Mark Lamberton. Give a nice round of applause, everybody. He's been waiting to get that checkered flag now for some time, and he finally gets it done tonight. Jimmy Bushy in the 11. Howard Stoner in the 57. Rico Hernandez in the 4. The 3 for Sherry Minier. Chris Reeves in the double zero. Mike Shagnon, shotgun in the 86. Here comes the field. Green flag. Twenty-five laps the distance tonight, and we got movement already up front. Rich Watson in the 09 running the third groove way up atop the back stretch into three and four. They're three wide into the third turn and out front. Here comes Robin Wood. Robin Wood moving on through and at 61. He's to the point. Rick Frenier in the 77 right now, second. Frenier comes down on Barnett on the inside. We got a yellow as Frenier goes spinning in the 77. 
Richie Turner goes for a spin as well. And the Chris Reeves with a double zero and the big orange for Rich Watson at the back of the back. All right, here they come off turn number four. Robin Wood, Jason Bonnet, race to the green flag. Wood on the inside. Bonnet on the outside. Bonnet getting the car down in front of Mike Wells into that second spot. Mike Wells third, working on the outside. Tyler Terry in the number 44. Terry sideways off turn number four. Wood, Bonnet, Wells now. Bigor trying to get to the inside of Tyler Terry. Then a gap back to Skip Liberty. Sean Duquette plugging away on the outside as well on that number 18, trying to hang on to spots as Terry is going backwards. Tyler Terry got bad loose that time off turn number four, and that backed up the whole outside line. There goes Brian Chris in 98. Well, Bad Blue 98 around off turn number two. Writes the ship, though, keeps her rolling. Rico Hernandez off the back stretch. But everybody stays rolling. And with that, we stay under the ring. Nice job there by Brian Chris to keep it running. And it looks like Brian's going to head back to the garage with a little Bad Blue car. Look out, we got spinners up in three and four. Larry Underwood's around. Tyler Terry, Howard Stoner, then Sherry Minier, Mike Shagan, Rich Watson, Brian Chris, Rico Hernandez, Larry Underwood. That's the field running off turn number four and down the front stretch. Back racing under green. Wheel to wheel running into turn number two. No hole there that time for Jason Monette to slide down on the inside. He's got to go. Mike Wells trying to pick that spot away in the 76 down on the inside, following on the back bumper of Robin Wood as Bonnet races sideways off turn four. Jamie Bigor gets the car down right in front of Skip Liberty in that third spot. Bonnet still hung out the drive, putting up a good fight on the outside. Wells in the 76, Bonnet the 79. Door to door for position number two. Wells surging forward on the inside, trying to get that second spot. Bigor in the 19, slides through on the inside as well. He's up to third. Now Bonnet finds room to get the car down on the inside and fourth. Here comes Bucko Branham. Branham into the top five now with the Northern Sanitation number 20. Branham's to fifth. Skip Liberty still stuck on the outside, running sixth. Here comes last week's winner, Sean Duquette. Duquette in the 18, trying to get that six spot away. They'll run side by side into turns three and four. Ben Huff also moving up in the 29 on the inside. Robin Wood pulling Mike Wells with him down the back stretch. Then it's three car lengths back to Jamie Bigor in the 19. Two back to Jason Bonnet. Bucko Branham closing in on Bonnet for the fourth spot. Branham looking down to the inside off four. Mike Wells really does well in the turns one and two, but then Robin Wood seems to pull away down the backstretch. Here again, you see Wells closing in the turns, but Wood pulls away on the straightaway. Look out, Rick Frenier around up at turn number four. Frenier backs her down towards the infield. And we got a yellow. Turner ninth, Sherry Minier in the top 10. Here comes the field off four. Green flag. Jamie Bigor to the inside of Mike Wells. He's going to take the second spot. Here comes Bucko Branham throwing the inside as well. Branham, the points leader, into the top three on the outside as Mike Wells tries to fight for spots. Branham, though, in the 20, has third. Jason Bonnet sideways off turn number two, running in the fifth spot. He's able to collect the 79. Sean Duquette still stuck on the outside. Racing door to door with Skip Liberty for the sixth position. Halfway. Now last week, Robin Wood had a strong car and in the middle of the race, the water pump went. And so did his chances. 
right back to the pits. This week, he's out front and leading by three. Robin Wood leading. Jamie Bigor second. Buck O'Brien up third. Mike Wells, Jason Bonnet, top five. And it's several car lengths back to Skip Liberty, who is running in the sixth spot. Seventh is Richie Turner. Eighth is the double zero for Chris Reeves. Sean Duquette, ninth. Brian Chris taking ninth away from Duquette. Duquette still stuck on the outside and losing spots for that number 18. Second place point man, 10 to go. Buckle Branham had a peek to the outside of Jamie Bigor. Bigor does not seem to be able to close on Robin Wood. Robin Wood has been running a steady two to three car lengths, and Bigor, if anything, seems to be a little ill handling in the turns. Bigor is 19, a little loose. And Branham is trying to find a way around. Mike Wells running right behind Bucko in the fourth position. Still Robin Wood, three car links over Jamie Bigor. Laps winding down. Bucko Branham sitting in third. Mike Wells fourth. Jason Bonnet fifth. Richie Turner has moved to sixth. Seventh is Skip Liberty. Eighth, Chris Reeves. Brian Chris is trying to get there, though. Ben Huff rounds out the top ten. Brian Chris moving to the inside of Chris Reeves for position number eight. Side by side for the eighth spot. Now a four car length advantage for Robin Wood. Slowly increasing the lead over Jamie Bigor. Five laps to go for Robin Wood. Five laps to go, five car lengths the advantage. Rico Hernandez in the four. A slower car than Robin Wood will work around off the fourth turn as Hernandez pulls it down to the inside. Bigor and Branham will catch Hernandez in the turn. Hernandez drifted up a little bit in front of Bucko Branham, and that cost Branham some spots. Mike Wells had to get on the binders. Branham running a top turn number four, a little bit sideways, hanging onto it. Robin Wood continues to show the way. Popsicle sticks are out this time for Robin Wood, looking for his first win of 2008. Two to go. Buck O'Brien now well back at Jamie Bigor in the third spot. Jason Bonnet fourth. Mike Wells back to fifth. White flag. One to go for Robin Wood. Bigor trying to close on Robin Wood into three and four. But this is Robin Wood's night. Here he comes off turn number four. Checkered flag for Robin Wood. Jamie Bigor second. Buck O'Brien up third. Jason Bonnet fourth. Mike Wells fifth. Richie Turner sixth. Seventh skip Liberty eighth. Brian Chris ninth to Ben Huff. Tenth to Chris Reeves. Eleventh to Sean Duquette. And the number 18. Win number one of two. Climbing out of his car now. Give a nice round of applause, everybody. Robin Wood, the winner tonight. The JNS Deal Sportsman 25 lap feature event. A well deserved ice cold bottle of water for Robin Wood.
And you and I talked in the, uh, actually back in the practice, uh, one of the interviews for our television show, and you said tonight you thought with the handicap that you were going to get as well that this would be a good night for you, and it certainly was. Yeah, last week we had a really good car, but we had uh, some mechanical problems that kept us out of victory lane, but I knew tonight we'd have a good handicap, and the way the car's been running, I knew we'd have a good finish. And the car was really strong as well. You had some fast runners coming behind you, but you were able to maintain a pretty good three to five car length advantage for the better part of the race. Yeah, they didn't make it easy on me. I wish it was a little bit easier than that, but I kept looking in the mirror, and first it was Jason, then Wellesley, then Jamie was behind me, so they definitely didn't make it easy on me, but I like to thank Ganyanka Territory, Bingos, uh, Renorek, Daniel Sines, Plaza Barbershop, uh, my dad, he puts more time and money in this car than I do, um, Rudy, Gary, Barb, of course my girlfriend Nikki, Tyler, and everybody else that helps us out. Nice job, well deserved. Thank you. Robin Wood, everybody. First win of 2008. 15-minute time limit. Brenta on the inside. Collins on the outside. They pick it up off. Four we are under green. Quickly, C.J. LeVere gets that number four down to the bottom of the racetrack. He'll get underneath Brenta as they head up the back stretch. LeVere started fourth. He's got the lead by turn three. C.J. LeVere leads lap number one. Dave Timor second. Tom Santello has worked his way quickly into that number three spot as they are three wide off turn two and up the back stretch. Justin Doner with a one into the number four spot. Rick Doner follows him through. He goes to fifth. Bobby LeVere quickly up to the number six spot. Dustin Duval follows him through. He'll take seventh. Collins is eight. Beretta is nine. Tenth spot goes to the 33 of Justin Chris. CJ LeVere in that number four starting up open up distance on the battle between Santello and DeMore. Side by side for that number two spot with the 88 and the 86. Rick Doner is now fourth and Bobby LeVere is now up to that number five spot. That drops Justin Doner to six. Dustin Duval seventh. Jason Chris now to that number eight spot in the 33. And Billy Twaits all the way up tonight. Butch Lemire has worked his way to the top 10. He is now in that 10th spot with the 57 car. 11th goes to the 02 of Collins. Bombard runs 12th. 13th spot goes to Brusso in the 26th. Parenta is 14th. Terry Bishaw gets around in turn three, and he'll stay going. Back up front, C.J. LeVere is gone. LeVere with a full quarter and a half advantage on the 88 of Tom Santillo. Rick Doder now into the number three spot. Bobby LeVere is fourth as Dave Demore's 86 got caught on the outside and he's lost three or four spots. Demore is back to seventh and CJ's halfway. Rick Doner now looking inside of Tommy Santillo. And they battle side by side for that number two spot. Doner now has second. Santillo back to third. Bobby LeVere in that number four spot with the five. Good battle for the sixth spot between Justin Doner in the one. Justin Duval in the 12. Eighth is Butch Lemire. This time by, it will be five laps to go for your leader. Five to go this time by for C.J. LaVere. Rick Doner slowly starting to close in on the number four car, but will he have enough time? 
Lever is going to have to soon encounter lap traffic. Renta 72 has come to a halt on the back stretch. Have to restart and outside and have really robbed seven good cars in front of him. There won't be much in front of the 95. He'll be right alongside the four as they come down the front stretch back to the green. Spinning across the track as the 88 of Santillo. Caution flag is out. Dominated by Keysville and Clintonville. Five to go as they come by to take the green back to green. Rick Donor leads them up the back stretch. On the inside, here comes the 12 of Duval. Duval's going to take second, and it's going to kick Justin Donor back to the number three spot. Butch Lemire's got his number 57, now fourth. Billy Twaits back to fifth. Dave D. Moore is sixth. Seventh spot, good battle between Jimmy Collins in the 02, Matt Brousseau in the 26. Popsicle sticks will be out this time by from Weasel Bruno. There'll be two to go for Rick Doner. Last week he lost it in a photo finish. This week he's going to try to win it on his own. Two to go. Dustin Nouvelle sticking right with that 95. It's three car links back to Justin Doner. Rick Doner drifts a little bit high. Here comes Duval on the inside. One to go. Now Duval's got the preferred inside line as Doner is hung out. It's going to be another ding-dong battle of the line in the Warrior Division. Dustin Duval on the inside. Rick Doner on the outside. Side by side. Off turn four. Down the stretch they come. And who wins it this week? Once again, Donor is going to lose by a nose. Oh, my. Dustin Duval edges out Rick Donor. Barely at the line. Not get any better than the show these Warriors have put on the last couple of weeks. his front fender. All right, Dustin Duval out of his car. Give a nice round of applause, everybody. Nice job, Dustin. All right, you got to get used to this. This is win number two for you. And uh, don't knock down the sign. You're a little excited. Uh, win, win number two, congratulations. Rick on the white flag lap drifted up the track, and uh, that gave you a little room down on the inside. Yeah, I see that. I wasn't sure if he thought I was going to pass him or what, but he drove in a little too hard in three and four, and he was pretty sideways, and I kind of got him at the line. <laughs> How about the restart? Uh, ten laps complete, and then there was a whole mess that happened up front. What did you see from that? Oh, my. The 88 was coming up the wall really fast, and I thought I was going to get him, but I got lucky and worked my way on the outside, and... I got by my Uncle Rick, and he brought me to the finish line. And win number two for you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Dustin Duval, everybody, is second win of 2008. More, but we've got him coming, ready for the green flag as they come off turn four. The green is out. Three wide and a turn two as Malcolm Woodward has got caught in the far outside. Tim Gadway leads them up the back stretch. Terry into the second spot. Kurt Seymour and Alex LaPlante battle for that number three spot. LaPlante's got it in the 08. Woodward beat in the 46. Great beep, run sixth. Three wide up the back stretch. Gilligan is on the move once again. The SS Minnow, number 77, is three wide in turn three and picking them off two at a time. A 
front, Scott Gadway, 60, or Tim Gadway, 63. And Josh Terry's 43 have left the field. Alex LaPlante, 08 is third, but not for long. Here comes Malcolm Woodward in the 46. He takes third. Eli Bishaw looking to follow him through in the 93. He goes into the number four spot. And Gilligan is fifth. Gadway and Terry. Then it's 10 car lengths back to Malcolm Woodward. Three wide action as they come off turn number four. Randy Martin has gotten by the B-Shaw 93. That means he is fourth. And then Malcolm Woodward's 46 is next on his agenda. Gadway now has opened up on Terry's 43. So far, Martin has not been able to get by Woodward, but now here he comes looking at the inside. Randy Martin is now into that number three spot. For a start. Gadway on the inside. Here they come back to the green. Timmy Gadway. Malcolm Woodward going to second as Josh Terry drifts a little bit high in that 43. And Gilligan's got third. Woodward looks inside of Gadway. Gadway holds him off. Gilligan is three wide and he is second. Another big mess on the front stretch. A hard hit. Mike Whalen's 11, hard into the back end of Eli Bishaw's 93. Josh Blake will restart shotgun in the 25. All right, ready to go. Bombers back to the green flag. We are underway. Randy Martin thinking three wide as they head into turn number two. And Martin gets tapped by Blondo and he goes around. Caution flag back out as we are headed toward that 15 minute time limit. Try it again. Richter. Gadway on the inside. Terry on the outside. Woodward, Seymour, row two, back to the green. Timmy Gadway opens up. Car length and a half. Malcolm Woodward takes that two spot on the inside, and here comes Jason Blondo for third. Bombers are halfway. Kurt Seymour in that 357, looking to the inside of Jason Blondo. They are side by side for that number three spot. Gadway continues to lead the way, and Malcolm Woodward's got that number two spot. Jason Blondo now for Josh Laporte has worked his number 45 into the number five spot. But here comes April Bordeaux on the move. Bordeaux in the 23, looking to take fifth spot away from Josh Laporte. They're side by side off turn four. Tim Gadway with a car link advantage on Malcolm Woodward's 46. Five laps to go this time by for Timmy Gadway. Malcolm Woodward staying about a car link behind. Just waiting to see if Gadway is going to make a mistake. It's 10 car lengths back. To Kurt Seymour's 357 and Jason Blondo's number five. They are running as a pair. Wade Whitney is now fifth. 
Laporte back to sixth. Bordeaux runs seventh. Eric Riel taking a shot at Bordeaux on the outside. They're side by side now for that number seven spot. Followed by the 06 of Provost. Black flag out on the seven of Josh LeClaire. He's headed back to the garage area. Leaders starting to work their way into some lack of traffic. First card, Timmy Gadway will have to get by, will be the 25 of Josh Blake. And Blake spins in front of the leaders. They get by safely on the inside. Caution flag out for the 25 of Josh Blake. Nice tight pack as they come off turn four. Back to the green flag, one to go. Woodward gets a good jump on the outside. Gadway battles right back on the inside. Kurt Seymour right there. Gadway inside. Woodward on the outside. Side by side again off turn four. Down the stretch. Checkered flag is out. Your winner. Close at the line. It's either Gadway 63 or Woodward. That was tight. All right, Rick, thank you very much. Malcolm's coming on over. <laughs> he tells him, I got to talk first. You're right, congratulations. They actually watched the replay, and uh, just by a few inches, you ended up winning that one. Congratulations. Talk about how obviously the car hooked for you coming off turn four. Three and four was my best two corners. I come around there, and I just felt the car floating and wanted to hook up. And I, I knew once I got a good run coming off and stuff on the high side, I could make it happen because I couldn't make it work on the inside. Everybody was just cutting each other off. So I tried on the high side, and it worked. <laughs> uh, that was a wild race. There was some uh, bad wrecks that happened all around you. Oh, yeah, there was. Uh, I didn't mean to get into I guess it was a 93, but he checked up, and I didn't have no room to stop. And I burped the gas, hit the brake, and hey. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Congratulations, Malcolm. Nice job. Thank you. All right, Rick. Wrap things up.